Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Kaizen Tseho and if you are a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey. I'm sure you can already tell what this video is about judging by the title and yes, I am doing a luxury unboxing. <sighs> I don't even know where to begin, but I made a luxury purchase and I posted it on social media. And for me, it was supposed to be like a personal thing. I didn't want to do an, um, an unboxing, but I got a lot of DMs and people requesting for me to basically do an unboxing, especially because I did not reveal what I purchased on social media. So I can understand that there is a bit of curiosity around what is inside the box so i thought you know what you only live once let me do what the people are asking for i'm here to show you guys what i purchased give you guys the specs and all of that good stuff i'm honestly very excited about it i'm not sure how many of you are aware of this but i am turning 30 this year and in december 2021 i made the promise to myself to basically celebrate myself and this huge milestone every chance I get. So every month I've been planning and doing something that makes me feel happy and excited about this new decade. Um, and bidding farewell to my 20s, which have been wild. And I'm just really looking forward to my 30s. My birthday is on the 22nd of September this year, so it is not my birthday. It is partially a birthday gift, but um, there will be more gifts coming my way from myself to myself this year. So I guess this is one of many um, gifts that I'm going to give myself in the form of actually tangible things as well as experiences, etc, etc. I hope that you guys enjoy it and yeah, let's get into it. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I recently made a purchase from Louis Vuitton. I did buy a bag and yeah, let's get into the unboxing. I don't know, I don't know what else people say in this video. You guys probably just wanna know what is in the box. So the item comes obviously with the receipts, if anything happens and you want to return the item or whatever. And then it also comes in this box, which I'm sure you guys saw on my post. I've actually subsequently deleted it, don't ask me why. Um, I just felt like I needed to. So it came in this box and when you open the box, you can see that I nicely tied my boxes. I've got a thing for boxes and bows. So I just made sure to kind of tie it and make it look back and make it look like it's original um, presentation. When you open the box, this is what you find. This is a dust bag for a bag. And the bag that I purchased is called the Vivine Chain Wallet. So this is what you find when you open the dust bag. And as I mentioned, this is called the Vivine Chain Wallet. I purchased mine in the Damier Ben canvas and it also has cowhide leather in black. So I think there are three colorways for this specific um, bag. You either get it with the black um, in, in Damier Ben canvas, right? You either get it with black, I think there's like a cream color, and then there's also a red or like a burgundy. It looks absolutely stunning. So I was torn between this and the burgundy one, but I found that I'd get more wears with the black. And also, yeah, it's a very, this, yeah. when I saw this, where I saw it, it looked exactly like this. And I just felt like, you know what, sticking true to the universe and what this the emotions and the energy that you felt when you first saw this in the situation that you saw it in, keep it exactly the same so that when I look at it, I can be reminded of that exact moment and what this bag signifies to me. Oh yes, so if you don't want to get it in Damier Ben, you can definitely get it in full leather. I think that there are two colorways in the full leather. It is black and there is like a grayish, like a beige and a gray mixed together. Um, which I actually saw in the store, not to my liking, and and also I feel like it has limited wearability. I really, really love Damier Ben, and it also goes with a lot of the stuff in my wardrobe. Um, and I and I felt like it would be an easy wear, you know. So let me just give you guys the specs. I'm pulling them up on my phone so I don't get anything wrong. It's so funny because when you look at this bag, when I look at it on camera, it looks like a really, it looks like a big bag, and it actually isn't. It's quite a small, but it's quite small and the one thing that i've noticed with myself over time is that i really enjoy small compact bags i'm literally that girl who 
takes what they need when they leave the house especially now that we have gone through covid and we have masks on i don't even take vaseline i don't even take hand cream because we're sanitizing all the time at the mall i don't need that stuff i literally just take a card my house keys and my car keys and i'm out so and i'm glad i waited this long to actually get my to actually make my first designer bag purchase because my taste maybe two or three years ago is so different to what it is now and i feel like i'm enjoying my style and my taste in bags and clothes now more than i did three years ago so so yeah I don't know if I should start with the dimensions. Okay, so this bag is 19 centimeters long. It is 12 and a half centimeters high, and the width is four centimeters. As I said, it is Damier Ben canvas and cowhide leather. I'm not gonna go into the specs of the bag. You can see it, and also when I watch unboxings, and when I watch unboxings for this specific bag, I just fast forwarded past all of that. No one really cares. I think the cool thing about the bag is that it has a magnetic clasp over here. So you kind of just need to move the flap over and then you'll just hear it like click into place. It takes some time though, if I'm not looking at it, but let's see, now I'm looking at it. There we go. Um, the way that you open it, you can either pull like this, but this is just de for decorative purposes. It doesn't lift or do anything. So I like to just open it in this way. When you open the bag, it has some suede kind of material inside. And guys, this bag is so super spacious. It's insane. Um, if you guys can't see it like this, I'll definitely do a close up, but it has a pocket over here where yes, your phone can literally fit. I've got the 12 Pro, I don't have the 12 Pro Max. So my bag fits very easily and comfortably in that in this compartment as you can see and it's great because it's easy to reach when I'm shopping and then when you look at the compartment so it's got this pocket for the phone or for anything else your phone can also go in this compartment over here but guess what there's another component at the very back over here so it's got like that component this component that component and then it also has like a zip coin component as well which looks like it is lined in leather the others are lined with suede and then this front one is lined in damier damier ben so this is a wallet on chain so it does come with a chain the drop on this chain is 53 centimeters so if you're looking to measure it against your hip because i was very pedantic about that and that's the reason why i don't think i'll ever get the alma is it the alma bb or whatever that round bag because i feel like it just drops way too much and then you can't even adjust it there's no adjustable strap you have to purchase a strap that is adjustable for it and i'm just like oh this admin really no so <laughs> i really enjoy the versatility of the chain and as the video continues i'll show you guys how i wear this bag in five different ways that completely transform the look of the bag and i know that it sounds like i'm exaggerating when i say that this chain can transform the look depending on how you style it but you'll definitely see in the upcoming clips how i style it in five different ways i make it a shoulder bag i make it a hip bag i make it a arm bag it's just it can be a clutch it's on so versatile and I'm obsessed and what else did I miss okay so if you look at the bag closely you'll see that I've got two cards in there it basically has six card holder components as well so I think maybe what I should also do for you guys just for the benefit of those who are curious and interested in getting the bag is I can do a what's in my bag and kind of fit all the stuff in so that you guys can see how much actually fits in this bag it's insane I can fit perfume in this bag my airpods Pods, literally powder and a powder puff it's insane how much I can fit into this bag so at the moment I'm absolutely loving it I feel like it is 100% value for money also just going back on the topic of or on the note of the chain right this is a weighted chain and the reason why that's important to note is if you are looking for a bag that has a chain as a strap this is a very significant and beneficial feature because when you wear chain bags on your shoulder they have a tendency to roll down but if it's weighted it ensures that it adds some weight to your bag so that it actually stays on your shoulder so i thought that that was a really amazing and cool perk i'm definitely not going to go into the price of the bag because i feel like we can all google that however the one thing i must note is that i did pay more because Louis Vuitton, by the time I had purchased it or by the time this bag actually arrived in south africa i had been waiting for it 
for probably almost eight weeks for it to come and it came literally when the prices were increased so it came with its new price and i was like you know what i've been waiting for this bag for so long i'm just gonna take it because the price is not gonna right we're not gonna get a discount so just pay the money <laughs> so that's exactly what i did when um i found out from my shopper that the bag is now in south africa and it is in the sanson city Vuitton store i literally ran i dropped everything and I drove there immediately to go and secure my bag. What I'm going to show you next is how I wear and style my bag. So if you're keen to see the next two parts of this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so we have reached the end of this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoy content like this, let me know. It really isn't my niche and it's not part of the stuff that I produce. But if you enjoyed it and you want to see more lifestyle and luxe content, then let me know and I'll keep it coming. Also, if you are curious about the way that I styled my hair, you're in luck because I definitely did film this video tutorial. If you're keen to see how I got my hair to look like this, then definitely subscribe to the channel turn your notification bell on because that is going to be in my upcoming video until next time guys ciao for now